Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe Audition CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create both clip and session markers in the multi-track. First, go up to the top menu, click on Adobe Audition, and then select About Audition. Just make sure that your version of Adobe Audition is 23.3 or later as adding clip markers in the multi-track is a new feature added in 23.3. To add clip markers in the multi-track, select the clip that you want to add a marker to, drag the CTI to that location, and then tap on the letter M. So M for markers, and now you see that marker one was added to this individual clip on the multi-track. When you select a clip in the multi-track that has a marker on it, you will see the markers in the markers panel. And if you don't see the markers panel, just go to the window menu and check markers. You can use the markers panel to manage markers, or you can just select any marker and right click right on the marker. You can delete a marker, rename a marker, you can change the marker type, you can convert it to a range, and you can do all of this in the markers panel as well. And whatever you do in the markers panel, such as renaming a clip marker, that will update it on the clip. To move the position of a marker, I can use the start time here. I can just click and move that marker, or I can just click right on the marker itself and drag it into a new position. To add clip markers on additional clips on another track, just simply select the clip that you want to add a marker to, drag the CTI to the position where you want to add the marker, then tap on the letter M, and there you will see that marker is added. And if you look up in the markers panel, you will see the marker. So that is how to add clip markers in the multi-track, which is a new feature. The great thing about clip markers is when you move the clip, the marker stays with that clip. And if you double click on a clip to open up in the waveform, you will notice that that clip marker stays with it in the waveform editor, which is pretty cool. And to add session markers, which were previously the only type of markers you could add in the multi-track. So make sure you have no clip selected, move the CTI to where you want to add a session marker, and then tap on the letter M and you'll see that marker is placed at the top above all the tracks. And I can manage the session markers the exact same way as the clip marker. I can just right click on the marker and I have these options here. I can click on it and drag it to a new position or I can use the marker panel. Just a couple things to note. When no clips are selected, if you look in the markers panel, you will only see session markers. As soon as you select a clip that has a marker on it, then you will see the clip markers in the marker panel. And if you ever get confused about which is a session marker and which is a clip marker, if you look at this session marker, you will see the little dotted line goes down through all of the tracks on the multi-track all the way down to the bottom. And if you look at a clip marker, you will see that same dotted line, but it's only the length of that clip. To add a new session marker, make sure that no clips are selected, drag the CTI to a new position and tap on the letter M. To add a new clip marker, select the clip that you wanna add a marker to, drag the CTI to the position, tap on the letter M, and that will add a new clip marker, which you can see in the markers panel. So that is how to use the new clip markers and the session markers in the multi-track of Adobe Audition CC 2023. And my name is Mike Murphy, cheers.